Welcome back to the rest of the story. Nope, this isn't a live stream, although I could do one one of these days. But that might be kind of risky, because last time I did, you guys turned an hour-long live stream into a two-hour long live stream. Well, I was just sent a message asking about my college education. I went to school at NICC Calmar, Iowa, for the John Deere Ag Technician Program. I've talked about it in previous videos, but I don't think I've devo devoted a video entirely to that. I graduated in 2010. I was accepted into the program my junior year of high school. I don't know how much, how far backed up the program is currently. I mean, it's been, what, eight years now. They only accept a certain number of people into the course every for every year. It's only... It's either 28 or 38, or maybe it might be 40. Maybe it's 40 students a year. Um, overall, it was a positive experience for me. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the schooling. Um, the only reason I found out about the program was completely by chance. I came across a sheet of paper that said John Deere, which, you know, you see John Deere, you got to read up on it, right? Well, what it said, long story short, is that if you were willing to work for a John Deere dealership, of course, you have to be sponsored by a dealership before they'll accept you into this course, uh, you have to, if you work for your dealership for two years after you complete this course, they will pay for your schooling. That sounds like a great idea, right? Well, I went to school with the other Ryan. You guys know, have seen him on my channel multiple times. Well, he saw this course too. Actually, I showed it to him. And he was interested in going to this John Deere Tech program also. So we ended up going to Calamar. There are multiple schools, John Deere Tech schools, across the country. The other one that's closest to us is in Madison, Wisconsin. The problem is that one's in downtown Madison, and we're small-town farmers, and I was not about to live in Madison for, for two years. But for that program, you do several months of schooling at Calmar or at your school, and then you do three months of on-the-job training at your dealership, internship. And then you go back to school for a set number of months, then you go back to on-the-job training for three more months. And once you complete your three months there, you go back to school until you graduate. The course consists of a little bit of everything, from combines to nuts and bolts and the basics, to corn planters, to tractors, to engines. There's actually a part of the course where you they give you an engine that you're supposed to tear down and rebuild. So anybody that's watching that goes to NICC Calmar, if you're lucky, maybe you can tear apart the engine that me and my lab partner tore apart. And when you do tear it apart, you put it back together, you put it on a stand and you run it. And what they told us is that if you don't get your engine to work properly, you fail. It's an automatic fail. So it's a pretty strong incentive to do the job right. Electrical, um, hydraulics, it, it covers pretty well all the bases when it comes to being a mechanic. Now nothing beats on the job training. Uh, I will tell you that having some, some understanding of mechanics before you take this course will be beneficial. It's not necessary, but like I said, any, every little bit helps. The on-the-job training can consist of whatever your dealership decides you can do. The school really can't tell them that you have to like be wrenching. Now myself, I did everything from wash machinery, which, you know, terrible, right? To deliver lawnmowers and picking up gators and stuff like that, which, I don't know, it's kind of... Well, when you're left alone with somebody's gator and you're out in the middle of nowhere, 
sometimes dirt gets thrown. I'm just, I'll leave it at that. But all the way to I was wrenching on uh, 7420. I also helped convert a, I don't remember the name of it now. Um, I actually converted, helped another mechanic. We converted a, a semi-mounted corn planter set for interplanting soybeans. We cut it down. It's a, it was a 12 row uh, semi-mounted and we converted it to a six row semi-mounted without the interplants. It, that was pretty neat. But it's just like any job off the farm. It was an eye opener for me because up until my on the job training, I had never worked off the farm. I had always worked with family. I had always always worked on the farm, which even anybody that's planning on working on your farm, your family farm, or whatever your such current situation is, it is an eye opener to work off the farm to work with other people that you will not get along with and still have to put up with. Life experiences, life lessons. Um, the instructors up at school that I had, i pretty sure Dwayne is still there. This is at NICC Calmar. Dwayne, I believe, is still there. Neil may still be there. Um, the other two instructors, I'm pretty sure, are no longer. Uh, Dwayne was a really nice guy. He was really awesome. He listened to you. Any problems you had? Neil also. I mean, even Jay. I mean, Jay was a really awesome listener too. But um, while they are sympathetic, they listen to what's going on with you, they're also there to be your instructor and to make sure that you graduate. Um, I'm not going to say his name. Well, I can say my fellow classmate. Um, they will tell you or ask you, they'll ask you why you are maybe not doing the job as good a job in the, your schooling as you should be. And they will, at the time, I, I don't know, this is eight years since I had school, but they do care about whether or not you pass or fail. I guess I'll, I can just leave it at that. Um, it's a great course. Um, Calmar is the number one course in or another number one John Deere Ag Technician program school in the US. It was the time that I went to school. I would think that it still is. They did a lot of updates since I had been at school. I've actually been by there two or three times and it's changed considerably since I was there. They did a bunch of updates on the school. So I say the the building that you're in because the John Deere Ag Technician guys, we had to be in our own building because we were considered kind of uh, kind of weird. I won't say that, but we were told in our orientation is that um, the John Deere Tech guys are we're unique. We get along with everyone else for the most part. Out of all forty of us, uh, we all got along pretty well, which which is nice because. The reason that college was so much more interesting than high school is that it wasn't clicky. You go to college and you actually enjoy what you're going to college for, assuming that you're not being forced to do it, to go any which program. You're surrounded by people that have similar backgrounds as you. In my high school class, there were only, what, three farmers, and I was friends with... Well, well, me and my two friends at the time in high school. Uh, you go to Calamar, you're basically surrounded by ag guys. For the most part, there are some guys. There were some guys from town there. I'm not sure what else you want me to say. It was a positive experience. You have to have your own tools. They will help you snap on Mac, Matco. Actually, there's a. Uh, a parts truck that comes every couple weeks to sell tools. I bought all of my snap-on tools at Calmar and they do help you snap-on or whatever uh, tool company you go with. They do help you be able to purchase your tools within reason. 
tools really don't lose value. I still have mine, and I'll have them for the rest of my life. So ask me any questions in the comments. I'll try to answer any of your questions that I may not have answered. I'm just not sure what people want me to tell you when you ask about my schooling. Yes, I... Um, the schooling was great. I got along with everybody. I mean, it was a positive experience. The on-the-job training is a job, and you take it for what it's worth. So, also, it is, it's a valuable experience if done right. So, that's all I got to say, guys. Take care. Take it easy. Keep in touch. I'll talk to you later.